What you see here are two samples of male armor or male. The one on the left is Riz Bov, means a tighter weave or a smaller weave. And the other one on the right is Dorosh Bov, which is a more, let's say, wider weave. And I'm going to explain this. The one which you see here, inner diameter is 0.6 centimeter of each ring. It is made of solid rings and also of um, riveted rings. The one on the right has an inner diameter of one centimeter, also a combination of solid rings and riveted rings. Let me just go to the one which is here, tighter or Riz buff. Please take a look at that. And this means when you have a slash or a thrust, the whole idea is that these come and get tightened and this way they will try to stop a thrust. They, most people say, oh, male is not effective against thrust. Actually, it's not the case because this is not only the male, you have also gambus below that, which come and they go around it and then um, try to stop the thrust or even an arrow. And they will remember also we have in Ghazal Kant and there you had a male sometimes between two layers of gambeson, gambeson on top of it, male armor, and then below that another gambeson. So you see that this is much tighter. I put it here on my hand so you have an idea what it means to have a tighter male. You see that you, this is uh, this tighter male as you can see it here. This is uh, a wider, as you can see it, that one. You see that you can better see my hand below it, right? And then I come back here and try to show you, try to show you the rings and then you can take a look at them you see let me just uh, try to show you a solid ring here you know you see this is a solid one right let me just go so you can take a look at this this is a solid ring you see that yeah this one mm -hmm. a solid ring and then i can show you is one to four and also you can see a riveted ring here for example and if i come here the doroshed buff that was this buff and this is a doroshed buff you see a riveted ring and then a solid ring you see this is how it is how it works now what you see here is a sample of a gambeson haftan made by Sergei Gobatko. You see it is a linen, made of linen. And here it is, this linen is sewn as in, you see that like a rectangular shape or rosette shape. And if you come here, you see these are separated. And here on the other side, the shape of sewing is different. I just here tore it a bit so I can show it to you. You see this is uh, done like in vertical lines as you can see it here they're sewn in uh, vertical lines and uh, this is this one done this way and here we have this lozenge shaped as you can see it here so this is um, this was well done because i'm going to do some cutting test on it later on so say they kindly provided it uh, for me and also some archery tests, also cutting tests, so we see how cutting is done. In contrast to what many people think, cutting tests, I'm very good in cutting, but even cutting on a gambeson alone is hard. We don't even need to talk about uh, uh, cutting uh, a male, right? But please take a look at this one. So different linen, layers of linen, at least we have one layer here and one layer here. They're separated and even the way they're sewn, they're different uh, to each other, which makes cutting again difficult.
let me just uh, show it to you for example imagine there is an arrow which is uh, this is from a tier novak just wanted to show you made by martin kolbe so this is comes here and goes so this is this way right or if i come and i have a card which is a knife so then this is this way but I'm going to show it now to you something else. Now. now let us move and think about it. When an arrow is shot and comes here, you see, this is uh, the one with Riz buff. You see, then I just get closer to it. The moment, even if it hits one of the rings, the arrow is going to be stopped better. And an ideal case for the archer, not for the wearer of the armor, is when you try to hit one of those rings in the middle. But you see, because the arrow turns, and then you see that this goes around it, and then it gets a bit difficult. I'm going to show it to you here this way. You see? Let me just see. Reese buff, one of the good things about the Reese buff when an arrow comes, Please take a look at this. You see that it has difficulty penetrating even the male. I will try to show it in a better way. So let me just see, show it to you. You see that? You see how it works around that? And now when you have this one, it is even better because you have a gambit and below that. Again, I'm uh, trying to put it on top. You see that my Novak is here. It has a botkin hand, but the botkin, right? Just you see a bit, a bit of the hand comes here like a needle, right? And then the male tries to stop it. This is a botkin hand, very sharp botkin hand, right? But uh, let me just go and show it to you with Dorosht buff. As far as Dorosht buff is concerned, you see that now it is an easier game for this to go inside. Now, still, it doesn't mean that it is easy for an arrow to go and inflict damage. Again, no matter what, these rings provide support but you see for the wearer of the armor i'm going to show it to you here so you can take a look at that you see here if i come here you see now the botkin had the sharp head of it you can see it better it still needs to split the ring to go and inflict damage once this let's say that the powerful bow or the novak arrow guide is so strong or the bow i'm just using a novak because i can show it for filming better could be an arrow even if it splits that it's going to have two layers of ganges on it now in, now imagine that we have a basal can meaning that we have one la layer of ganges on here right Below that, there is nade armor and then another layer. So, in an ideal case, when the arrow hits, it hits this linen layers. It needs to penetrate this and then it will hit Reese buff. And if it splits that, then it goes to the second layer of Gambeson and then, then it goes to the person who is wearing it. That's why in this Arab Syrian gentleman, he said that he uh, hit a guy with a lance and then he was, he came, he unhorsed the guy, unmounted the guy and when he hit the ground, then he saw that he was still living and nothing happened to him. The reason is because of a Ghazal Kant he was wearing. So you see, this is something which I need to say about the advantages of it. Even if you don't have a Gazal can, you have this. This is going to be difficult. And if I come here and use Dorosh buff, you're going to have the same thing, right? Again, 
you're going to have this and two layers of armor. Fazakat is an armor in itself. Remember, in Tariq Jahan Goshai Nadari, many are wearing only this in combination with a bazo band and in combination with a, a helmet. Today, I would like to say in the past, I was a really big fan of the heavy armor. Today, I say in presence of sharps, I personally want, do not want to have heavy armor for the battlefield. If you, today, if you ask me, maybe only this, khaz, I mean, Khazal Kant, Bazu Band and Kolochud helmet, and maybe, maybe a layer of uh, nail armor. The same application, I can come and talk about the card. If I come, you see how the card acts, and then you see, and I'm trying to trust with the Gapish Gaps or with the card, and you see how difficult game it will become again. This is the head of the card, which is stopped by it. I'm going to have a better film for you so you can take a look at it. Look at my hand. Of course, I'm not exercising power, but this is the tip of the card which went through. You see that? Okay, the mail, I, I put it in a very, very a good position to reach this. You see, it's still the ring is not split. Even when that part goes in, you see that? It is going to hit two layers of linen of the gambeson right and even if it passes the gambeson it goes and reaches the piro and fat or victory shirt okay which is not thick i know but still a layer never forget that especially if it's made of silk the problem become more evident when you have it here and you see that the, when the Dorosh buff is there, you see that the tip of the, before splitting, the tip of the card has a better game to play. You see that it is more inside. Now it's going to hit the gambeson, which is made of two layers of linen. If you don't have a Ghazal Kant, where you have three to four, one on top of the male, one below the male. Here it shows clearly the danger of a Dorosht buff, but still, still it is holding it off. You see, unless it splits, the male ring is not split, it can provide solid protection because it comes here again. And the male turns around it, turns around the tip of the blade, and it's like, like a snake going around it and tries to stop the momentum of the of the strike or the thrust of the knife as i have shown it to you male armor is a very effective type of armor especially when you consider it to be combined with a gambeson below it with haftan that's the reason that male armor used to be worn over centuries and was a preferred method of protection Today, when we fight, because we do not use sharp weapons and people only use blunts to strike and use them like a club, I believe that the real meaning of male armor and why male armor was effective has been lost. So please do not underestimate male armor. There was a reason our ancestors used male armor. What you see on the left, as I said, is Riz Bov smaller rings, another one is Dorosh bigger rings.